Hey loves, I am back and I will tell you before we even get started, if you look at a video and you see that I have this shirt on twice, I did change my clothes. It wasn't that I didn't change my clothes. I made two videos in one evening. So that's what happened with that. But anyway, I am back. My name is Malik Davis and I would like to thank all of my loves uh, for stopping by 40 Pieces of Meat. If you are new to this channel and we never want to offend anybody, um, it by calling them love, dear, baby, or anything of that name. Anybody that knows me knows that that's my term of endearment. If I'm not calling you love, then it means that I'm really just not that into you or you're not my people. So that's why I say hello to all of my loves. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your weekend. I know you're wondering, like, what are we going to do? Kept telling you guys that I needed to get all of the flowers off of this big foam ball because I needed to use it and I couldn't afford to buy another one. So sometimes we have to do what we have to do and I needed those flowers to create. So I knew something would come up for me to use this ball. I just didn't know what. So as you guys know, you have now entered chapter five to Skylar's Baby Sprinkle. If you didn't watch the previous videos and you don't know who Skylar is, my oldest, which is my niece that I raised, she is going to be having her second child in August. And so on June 24th, we are having a breakfast at Tiffany inspired baby shower and we are calling it scholars baby sprinkle so if you're wondering what i'm doing with these big balls i'm going to tell you the things that we are going to be using and what we're going to be using we're going to be using lots of pearls you see pearl rolls i have probably about four of these because i'm gonna need them uh we're going to be using the silver strand pearl uh silver strand beads and this week hobby lobby has all of this type of stuff on sale 50 percent off so it's the time for you to get in there you can get in there uh well, it's eight o'clock now so get in there tomorrow if not you'll be waiting to the week after next i already had this ribbon this um sheer ribbon uh tiffany blue and i have this um like satin tiffany blue ribbon and i am also going to use a wide band white set uh satin ribbon uh, for this particular project i'm going to use my glue gun and glue sticks I'm also going to use a little e6000 because we want to make sure this thing stick you're going to need lots of glue sticks i have these real large ones they're just like a walmart brand i don't have gorilla glue sticks right now because i have a lot of stuff i have to do and to be honest with you i'm just using a little extra glue but i've never had any problem uh with these glue sticks you're going to need scissors so i know you're anticipating and wonder like what are we going to need it for well we all know and you need this long wooden stick which we're going to spray tiffany blue uh so i'll step away and do that in a minute uh, but you can see this stick is long uh so you're probably wondering what we're going to do well the baby shower the baby sprinkle i am going to use long tables instead of round tables so we're going to have like a dinner party, a brunch, shall I say. And it is going to be a lot of textures and heights and all different kinds of things in regards to centerpieces because we want everyone to have some sort of centerpiece almost in front of them or close to them. We just want everybody to walk away feeling good, but we don't want you to lose sight that we're having fun and it's adults there. And we're going to have a kid's corner. But we don't want you to lose sight of what it's for. It's to celebrate life. And we know when we're celebrating life, uh, new life, then that means it's a baby celebration. And without babies, you can't have, you can't not have pacifiers and bottles and rattles. So that's what this is going to be. This is going to be a life-size rattle. So I want you guys to stick with me while we create this rattle. Uh, the first thing I've already did, cut out the 
hollowed out a uh, part of it. I saw this and I am going to put her link down because I got this from another YouTuber where I got the beaded ball uh, from another YouTuber and she is absolutely wonderful. Can't think of her name right this minute, but I am going to put her link because she's the one that showed me how to do this. I've already hollowed out this one and it'll just slide directly in there and you can see how we are going to have a life-size rattle. What I'm going to do now is step away and spray. As you can see, I started this because this is my first time doing it. It was a little complicated, but all you're doing is just making a circle. And I'll probably go back and let me do it actually now. I'm actually going to stick. I'll do it at the end. I'm actually going to probably stick a pearl um cut one off the strand and stick it directly in the middle. But basically, and you won't need like a massive amount of glue because this is on styrofoam. You will need to hold it because if you don't, it'll do what it just did to me. Um, but you're just creating a circle. It's a beaded ball. And like I said, I'm going to refer you back to the youtuber that i saw do it she's really really good and you know that's what it's about it's us uplifting each other um so i think she's really great and i want you guys to see some of her work she's she's good uh like my sister youtuber uh design on a dollar i can never forget my sister she's really really good it's a lot of good youtubers out and we feed off of each other. And I'm not afraid to say it. When I saw her do this beaded ball, I was so ecstatic and I told her. Okay, guys. So what I did was attempted to create some uh, just so that you could see how it's going. Um, I won't do this entire... Um, I won't do the entire thing. I have to stand up because this is really, really a big ball but i won't do the entire thing on camera because you'll get the gist of it and basically we're just going around in a circle you can do this with the smaller um and i just have my roll of beads on the floor and i'm just pulling as i go but you can even do this and make small smaller rattles uh, but just keep going. Just keep going around. Hey, my loves. I didn't want to keep you hanging and not let you see what's going on in between. But as you can see, uh, we are making progress. Now, this one, it's going to take you about 30, 35, maybe 40 minutes um, to, to do this ball. But if this is something you decide, and this will be real, this will be really, really pretty, like the pillars, chandelier pillars that we did. Think about this just on a bowl, um, on a chandelier pillar, and making that into a chandelier. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous as well. Uh, but I didn't want to um, do too much and not let you guys see the in between. Uh, process because I know sometimes we get stuck because I get stuck. I wanted to zoom in on this. Uh, when I do the final video, you will be able to see it uh, much better. But I will tell you, this took me some time. Um, and I'm just zooming in and out on it. It took a lot of time. Um, I even want to show you guys um how we ended up doing um doing the actual hole how it went tiffany blue uh, that we've been using but the light has it extremely blue this is a strand that i had cut off and was doing something else so um basically i started around that circle which is probably how i should have started around uh, the one for the larger ball. Um, just want you to see what I'm going to be doing. I've already started it because, you know, sometimes starting is not as easy as we would like to think. So I didn't want to take time trying to figure out how to get my flow. Um, 
with it already recording but as you can see we are going to complete the same path going around this is not a complicated uh, project it's a little tedious with the time that it can take but it's far from complicated and what we're going to do to have our uh, silver for our um, Tiffany and Company uh, giant size uh, baby rattle we're going to just continue to go around it you can see it's not a lot to it um, probably don't even have to use as much glue we know I am heavy with the glue but that's okay I'll make sure that nothing comes undone uh, and with these foam balls I will tell you painting the foam ball makes it a lot harder um, than just dealing with the regular foam so going forward that may be something uh, that can help you in regards to uh, doing different projects with foam sometimes we're scared to use our foam but it doesn't have to be that way because painting it uh, makes it a lot easier so i'm just going to continue with this uh last night that ball i underestimated the time frame and not really realizing it how large that ball was but i wouldn't do it oh i mean i wouldn't change it i would do it over again if given the opportunity because uh, the vision that I see in the finished product is worth it. And as long as, as you have a vision and you execute your vision, it's okay sometimes if it takes a little more time. Uh, I will tell you that. Loves, we know it's several parts to this particular video. Uh, I did like the silver actual uh, beads, of course, from Hobby Lobby. And I keep reminding you guys, like these were $3.99. I spent $2 on these. Um, these were five. Uh, these were $9.99. I spent like $5 on these because they're 50. This is the week that they're 50% off. So I put the, I went through just like I did with the pearls and put the silver beads on them. And I brushed my podge, my podge on them. And I just sprinkled them with glitter. Because I wanted them to have an absolutely silvery, sparkly look. So we're going to set this to the side. And I did after with the glitter. You can see it's minimum amount of glitter on my hand. You don't want glitter all on your table and people have to eat. Uh, so some of it is still going, um, coming off. I'll spray them once again just to make sure. I am going to set that to the side. And what I will do. Sorry, guys. What I will do is, this is a stick. Didn't have to be sprayed perfect. But what I am going to start doing, I'm going to wrap this here. I'll start from the bottom and we'll go to the top. But remember, you can't start all the way at the bottom because this has to go in. So you definitely want to make sure you're going to give it some room because in the end, we'll go back and potentially put bees around this as well. So you don't want to start directly at the bottom. You want to give it maybe about an inch. So I am just doing this to see how to measure it. And I am going to, this is something very easy and repetitive. I am going to start with the middle, middle one. I can't talk this morning. Uh, well, it's this afternoon now. Because I got up and started working early. But I am just going to put glue on it and just repeat it all the way until we get to the top. So just basically something simple. We're just blinging out the pole. We don't want the pole just all the way Tiffany blue. Um, we want it bling and we want hints of blue. We don't want everything to be overwhelming. Um, 
with our Tiffany blue or sometimes you may see robin egg blue as it's described. So we don't want everything to be overwhelming. And you are just going to repeat that up the entire hole. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to need five strands. Sorry, I didn't cut these in advance, but I won't make you guys sit through the torture. As you can see, uh, just for the sake of time, I've already attached this ball. You can see that it's very, very stable. You can't see anything that's added down here because I went back with the silver beads and I made it seem seamless so that it really does appear like a rattle. So now what we're going to do is we are going to work on this end. I'm actually, because of some of the glue may shed, I am actually going to uh, just throw this piece of material here. So in order to see what we have going on, you can see it's a hole, the hole here. And maybe what I should do, we have a, I have a light because we know we've had issues with lighting before. I'm gonna cut off the light because I need for you to have a, be able to see Need it, need for it not to be so 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 bright. So I'm actually going to put that back here. But okay, you can see the hole here. The hole. What we're going to do is we are going to fill this hole up with glue. I mean, literally, not quite to to the top, but we are going to add a lot of glue in this hole. And you may think, and I know I got one comment that said using all of that glue. Well, yeah, I'm using all of that glue. And as you can see, it's, it came up. So on the other one, I actually had to take another row of bling to put it down in there just to make it really, really stable. Um, but... You're definitely going to have to hold this because uh, you have to wait for this glue to actually dry. But while that glue is drying, what I want you to do is to get a row of beads. Be very careful uh, if you don't have anybody holding it for you. Uh, you know it can. This we know what can happen with the glue. But I want you to start taking the pearl strands. Since this is the white one, I want you to start taking the pearl strands and just wrapping it around, pressing them down because you want everything to seem, you want it to be seamless. Um, this would be, this is for the shower, but you can make this a little bit smaller and how we put ribbons on the door when we have babies. You could actually put a baby rattle on the door because um, I actually saw that idea and I thought it was a very good idea. You can put, instead of putting the ribbons on the door uh, to signify that a baby has been born, you could actually do a rattle in um, pink or either blue to let your neighbors know um, that you had a baby. So as you can see, I'm just going around it with the pearl strands just to make it seamless. And it's going to seem like it's not going to stay, but don't worry about that. Just continue to hold it. I promise you it'll stay. But you have to just be consistent and be willing and prepared to hold it. Because uh, that ball at the top, it was a little shaky as well. So before we can put any ribbon on it, we have to make sure that it is completely held uh, together. The rattle, the large ball laying in a little chair. I have it laying up there. 
um, and I will grab it and pick it up just so you guys can see how sturdy and stable it is. Um, I have it laying up there because it is extremely large uh, and that's how I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be big and grand. Um, my whole thing is we can be big and grand, but we can do it on a budget. We can do it out of the Dollar Tree, the thrift store. We can take things and repurpose it uh, from our homes. But what I will tell you is words cannot begin to explain how absolutely gorgeous this baby rattle turned out. I don't know whether we're going to leave it leaning in a room or what it may be, but when I tell you that the detail on it is really, really good, and I never ever make a big deal out of my work just because some of it doesn't look that great to me, and we know we are our worst our own worst critic but what i will tell you i added a little piece of the bling wrap right there to give it our um bow uh some pizzazz what i will tell you is that i am overjoyed out of everything in the shower this and the glass letter boxes are the things that i was most excited about um I'm excited. I'm excited for them being a young couple. They will be getting married uh, within the next year, maybe a little bit longer because we have to, we're going to have to do this wedding ourselves. Uh, so it's going to be nothing expensive, but we know that we can make it nice. So um, if this is something that you guys like to try, even on the smaller scale with smaller rattles, um, by all means necessary, Please do. It is some work if you use a ball this big. Um, but in the end, I promise you, you will be excited with the end result. Uh, so this is our Tiffany inspired uh, baby rattle. Uh, you have entered or been introduced to chapter number five in Scholar's Baby Sprinkle. Um, whatever it is that you guys uh, think that you can do, as long as you have a dream and you attempt to execute it, there is not anything that anyone can say about it. Uh, I am so happy to ha have you guys in my family. It makes me overjoyed. Once again, my name is Malik Davis. And if you will, please hit the subscribe button. If somebody's doing a baby shower, Tell them about this rattle. Uh, share, share, share. Share on your social media. Hit the alert button so you'll know what's next uh, in Scholar's Baby Sprinkle. And please do like and leave comments. Let me know what you think that I could have done better. My name is Malik Davis, and these are the 40 pieces of me. Have an absolutely beautiful day.